What's good, YouTube? Before I get started, I just want to give a shout out and a quick thank you to my other subscriber. So I have two subscribers right now, and I'm one of them. And so now I have somebody else, and I'm whoever you are, bless your soul. I'm excited to have you here, and uh, thank you, my G. So if you clicked on this video, you are probably assumed I'm turning this into this, but I'm actually turning this heart shoe into this classic Chuck 70. Why am I doing this, you may ask? Well, these have been my gym shoes for a few years now. A couple years. I've got these in like 2018 probably. Way prior to it becoming a meme, all right? I'm not, I'm not dusty. But yeah, I use these as my gym shoes. I look, keep the laces like this, stick my foot in, easy, easily laceable, boom. Just in case I want to talk to a girl at the gym or something, I don't want her immediately seeing these and think I'm a sus ball. So I'm gonna remove the heart. I'm thinking about keeping the eyes maybe, maybe half a heart. I don't know, we're about to find out. So uh, yeah, let's, let, let's see how this goes. All right, so what you'll need for this tutorial is a paintbrush, a painter's palette, black paint, satin acrylic paint, that's what this is. So it's probably gonna look pretty terrible. We are going to see, and I'm not gonna prime it either. So this might just wind up cracking and <laughs> looking awful. But again, we will see. And also a cup of water. Before you put paint in it, you should probably take a sip. Delicious. Let's get our paint ready. First, dip your water in your brush. So let's put some paint on this. Wow, this is, this is crazy. Okay. Damn, this is not the right shade of black. Am I masking it? Not a chance. Oh god, too much water on the brush too. Oh man. Oh my god, it looks awful. It means it needs more. Maybe I should sand the heart down or something? Or use oil paint remover? I don't know. Alright, so I'm getting there. I'm gonna try and keep the eyes first. It, it looks kinda decent on camera. But yeah, these things became a meme basically just because everybody and their mother was buying these. And yeah, it's just, again, people like to hate on like newcomers into whatever field it is and almost gatekeep, whatever. Look down upon those who just step foot in. A lot of people, their entrance into streetwear, as cringe as that sounds, is something like this. Some Supreme type thing. But yeah, so that's why it was a, a, a meme at the time. Now, I mean, it's it's just these fucking starter kits. Everybody, nobody has seems to have personal style anymore. I mean, obviously people do, but yeah, everybody's basically just a bot NPC. Everybody's programmed by their fucking Instagram algorithm. It's it's frankly disgusting. But okay, another thing you should definitely get a wet rag. Wow, this looks fucking awful. Maybe the paint's bad or too old. Dude, what? <laughs> this is horrendous. <laughs> so should I keep the eyes? I don't know, huh? Let's, let's get a little on foot. Oh. I mean, honestly, that looks pretty decent. Actually, it looks awful. Okay, you know what? Let's try this. Oh, okay, this is, just going over everything is definitely the move. All right, now it looks kind of, oh, fuck. <laughs> Way better. Should I go down? No, the white stripe is fine. I'll leave that up. All right, so if you made it to the end of the video, look at this. Boom. Look at that, just two Chuck 70s living in harmony. All right, I'm actually, if this dries okay, 
I'm very satisfied with this. I mean, the, the paint is probably going to crack considering I exercise in these shoes too. But... Uh, yeah, this is, that's pretty solid. Anyways, thank you for making it to the end of the video. But you know, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. Because look at this. I'll take a bullet to the knee to get a shoe like this, all right? Take a risk, take a risk.